Hello, anybody who's watching this. Welcome to my reaction to Arcanum of Simworks and Magic Obscura review. Cotton Milk certified trademark. Oh, I just noticed, noticed a pug. A pug. It's cute. Um, I know nothing about the game, so... Let's watch. And before we begin, if you have a video for me to react to, you can use the nation link in the description below. Or leave it in the, your recommendation in the comments below. I didn't plug the headphones in there. No, I did. I'm stupid. Hey, hey, people. Seth here. Today, I'll be covering an older CRPG, which still has its own faithful What's a CRPG? following. A game where you can greatly expand on your English lexicon, promote Marxism among the impoverished working class orc, and, of course, have cheap carnal relations with sheep. Arcanum of oh. Steamworks and Magic Obscura. This episode is brought to you by RPG Codex and Bad Dragon, both great gaming websites, thoroughly oh. recommended. Arcanum takes place in the world was of Arcanum. In this Wait. fan site, thoroughly recommended. Worlds with fan favorites for the people to work with our famous cum tubes. So if you're in the mood for some messy, drippy fun, Virgil is your toy. What the fuck is this? Top of the spade shaped tip that gently tapers inward only to slop out again. It's nicely and it's nicely sized bulge. Bul Virgil is sure to take you on a pleasurable ride. Smooth with slight texturing, it basically has to be rubbed down with calm lube and slid deep inside. Once then, give it a slight twist to discover it. Its many sen sensational attributes that grind against all the right places. Excellent for G spot and P spot stimulation. What's a P spot? Uh, Virgil can be used uh, vaginally or anally. I guess maybe it's a spot in. I don't know. So take the plunge and bring home this toy today? Virgil, what the fuck? Amended. Arcanum All right. takes place in the world of Arcanum. In this fantasy setting, the civilized world is undergoing an industrial revolution, which parallels closely to the industrialization that took place in the 18th century, complete with work sweatshops, child labor, and lung cancer for everyone. What a great Yay. time to be alive, provided you're not a working class peon with a limited life expectancy. However, there's a problem. This world has magic, and magic doesn't exactly coexist well with technology. Technology in sure. Arcanum is just a broad term for utilization oh, of the natural yeah. sciences to do stuff, it while magic it. relies on the violation of these natural principles. Put them together in a yeah. system, and everything fucks up. Toss a magical artifact too close to a steam engine, you'll loosen and displace the gears, make the engine run too fast, or make the fuel chamber overpressurize and explode. So, mixing the two is generally a bad idea. And while a lot of people benefit from the increase in Tech. Some are extremely salty about it. Spells and shit. Some games, or maybe just some worlds, have a coexisting magic and technology where you can use magic to operate technologies. Interesting choice to make them incompatible. Don't work near industrial cities. Healing and resurrecting people by waving your hands no longer does anything. You instead have to rely on barbaric practices like medicine and surgery. Maybe they'll even okay. start demanding you to be a licensed professional, whatever that. So what kind of technology resurrects? means back in Uganda, right. you could freely practice sorcery and trepanning with just an associate's degree in witchcraft. Everything All about right. this changing world what comes together that over kid? the course of the story, okay. in which you can play a single, fully customized character. There's a huge variety of options for designing your own character, which are determined by race in no particular order. These are humans, proud, noble, and forward-thinking when it comes to tech. Elves, proud, noble, but regressive Luddites that hate tech. They live in the forests and chew on bamboo. Dwarves, similar to elves, magic, just shorter with fatter cocks. Half elves, products of rape. <laughs> half orcs, products of rape. Half ogres, products of systemic rape. And of course, oh. gnomes, the products of polygamy, incestuous breeding, and corprophilia. It is no exaggeration or hyperbole oh. that all evils Ew. of the world are endorsed and committed by gnomes. A gnome... If I'm... If I know what coprophilia is, then ew. 
Unless I'm mixing it up with something. Feels no empathy, okay. no remorse, no common humanity that separates us from simple beasts. The only love a gnome can feel, if you dare describe it so, is that for money. A gnome would sooner sell his own mother for a pouch of silvers hey. than do a single good deed in his entire gaping hole boy. of an existence. You also select your background and upbringing. Gaping hole of an existence? That's me! Am I a gnome? I'm not that short. I'm a... I wouldn't consider myself free. Anyway. Which can range from being voluptuously lewd and beautiful to being born as a mentally stunted special needs child. No, you're not gonna the be story a good boy, goes eh? that you board the first Zeppelin ever made in this world, the IFS there. Zephyr, it's okay. on its maiden voyage across the continent, which gets shot down by orcs flying fighter planes, who are later identified as brothers Jihad al Nuri and Hussam al Moradi. The orcs aren't very good at flying, so the attack turns into a suicide bombing. Or as as we refer to it in Arcanum, an isolated incident. Anyway, oh. these orcs commit two okay. isolated incidents, which result oh. in the Zeppelin exploding and killing everyone aboard. Except you. You live. Then, a gnome dying in the wreckage asks you to deliver a ring back to its rightful owner, with your only <laughs> clue being the manufacturing signature of the company that made it. This sets okay. off a chain of events and an unfolding conspiracy against oh, not his only name is the Virgil, modernized that's great. world, but the entire living world Just itself. Just a reminder of what I read. I played this Ow. game many years back, I had no idea what I was doing, but it turned Stop. out I knew exactly what I was doing. Arcanum is one of the rare games out there where playing a pure charisma build is not only viable, it's optimal. With every really? three points of charisma, your character can recruit an additional NPC into the party. By endgame, okay. I did not have a party. Similar I had a out. fucking army. And because my charisma was so high, I pretty much talked my way out of any encounter. So, I got mm. to the end of the game, met the final antagonist, and I was ready to beat him with my squad of goons, except that didn't happen. In the end, you and the final antagonist talk it out. He explains his philosophy that he views wow. life as unnatural and that the very act of living and existence is in and of itself suffering, that he'd rather eliminate it out of mercy to prevent further suffering from being born into this world. You then make the argument that life and existence does have merit, that his personal experience and confinement have poisoned his worldview and made him jaded. And remarkably, he agrees, but he also states that his mind is so warped with hatred that you can't just leave him alive. So, you offer him an alternative, voluntary suicide, and he oh. takes it. Arcanum, the game where you can convince the final antagonist to kill himself out of love for the world he hates. There's very few other RPGs with a plot as strong as Arcanum's. I'm not sure about the overall plot. But you can do the same thing in Mass Effect 1. Uh, I'm not sure if that counts as a main antagonist because there's a boss fight after that. There was something that was controlling the guy before. I don't know. And it changes depending on your character. This time antagonist. around, I played. You're chasing him through the game, so I would call him the main antagonist. An autistic dwarf. While previously mm. everyone was quite friendly to me as a well spoken human, most townspeople now tell me that manlets aren't welcome in these parts. Even renting a bed was suddenly more expensive, as the innkeeper remarks that he'll probably have to spend more time cleaning out the lice and dingleberries left by my filthy, unshaven body. A good example of just how intricate Arcanum's dialogue can be is booking a ticket for the railways. It's a three-step process of declaring whether or not you have magical artifacts, practice wizardry, or possess elementals in your company that could dangerously accelerate and derail the steam locomotive. If you're clean okay. of the supernatural, Let's you see. get to ride first class close to the machinery, while wizards, to put it bluntly, ride the back of a bus oh, for yeah. everyone's safety. And if you lie about it, the conductor will find out, and your Paid tickets will be null and void. The gameplay itself, though, oh, a okay. mixed bag. Combat's not exactly thrilling. They also introduced critical failure as a fun gameplay mechanic. Just in case you were planning like to Fallout. accidentally decapitate yourself with your own elephant gun, you can choose between real time like and turn based combat. Well, Depending on which exactly. of those, you can better exploit. Casting spells in real time is based on how fast you can click the mouse. Ranged attacks also become insanely fucking fast in real time. But this is more lethal to you 
you than your adversaries. If you meet an enemy archer later in the game, he can kill your entire party before you even see him. There's also enemies out there that damage your weapons well, when you hit them, but damage your armor when they hit you. Thanks, Troika. For this reason, the best companion in the game is a stray dog, which you find after saving Don't it meet. from being kicked to death by a gnome. And by saving, oh. I mean gutting the gnome like a fish. The authorities won't of even course. care. They might even Deserve. thank you for making the streets safer at night. I learned yes. that a dog's teeth can somehow survive biting rocks and crystals while the highest quality steel gets shattered from smacking windows and furniture. The AI in this game is fantastic. Wait, what the fuck was that? Bloody steel Medieval collectible, is this a watermark? The picture? It's shattered from <laughs> smacking windows and furniture. The AI in this game is fantastic. Well. NPCs can't establish causality between events. Amazingly, NPCs will be more alarmed to see you prowling around than hearing a set of dynamite charges detonating their bedroom. Sneaking is completely broken. Even with mastery, you can be spotted miles away. So, if you want to break into someone's house, a safer way to do it is break their windows while they're not looking with a stealthy weapon such as a shotgun and then <laughs> wait for them to sleep. NPCs are very deep sleepers, and they don't give a shit how much noise you're making. Clunking around in full plate mail, looting all of their belongings, stealing from them is completely risk-free. You can even use their own gold to finance purchases from their own store. The game has a very interesting color all palette right. of grey okay. and brown, and sometimes green if you're lucky enough to be in a forest. The UI is also grey and brown. It's not ugly by any means. I'm just saying that if Arcanum was a woman, it would be a very plain dog faced woman but you're already married uh the ui is it ui or is it hud what's the difference i don't know but it looks like a like a panel in the car like a like a cassette player's panel Just shove it in there and then there's buttons everywhere to her, right. so you learn to accept it and move on. It doesn't help that Arcanum soundtrack is quite moody and melancholic. If I could describe it, it, it would be like the mental orchestra that plays inside a child worker's head as he attempts to carefully dislodge yeah. cotton from running machines, hoping and praying that his hand doesn't get amputated while reaching between the spinning gears. So, usually I just turn off the music and switch it with something more soothing from another RPG. Ah, uh, much better. Traveling through the world okay. map is done by plotting waypoints and works exactly exactly the same as Fallout 1 and 2. Luckily, there's no urgency there's the to comparison. meeting your objectives, so you don't have to worry about racing across the map to finish the main quest. Okay, You're very so free to like travel Fallout and encounter two. quests in any in order. Sense. Arcanum also lets you plot waypoints inside. Does do have a time system? No time system, but like a limit to something. I don't think it does. The first one does. Also, I'm, I neither missed it or not when he was talking, comparing to Fallout 1 to Elder Random Encounters. Side of the map as well, which is really handy to help you navigate huge cities and reduce the pain of backtracking. You could also just be a mage and learn how to teleport. There's a lot of oh. schools of magic, and they're not essentially oh all God. equal. And that's because the necromancy school exists. At level 1, it lets you cast harm, and harm is the strongest spell in the game. But it will fuck up your index finger real fast. Power comes at a price. The animation also s reminds me of Fallout. Like the how the body is fall apart. The graphics, to be honest, I feel like it's exactly the same, just in different settings. Setting. Interestingly, you could also get conjure models. spirit from the same tree. What if I told you someone decided it was a great idea to write a fuck ton of dialogue around a single spell? Because that's exactly what they did. Conjure spirit lets you summon the souls of minor and major plot characters as long as you can find their body, and then you can interrogate them for clues, advice, and information that normally you'd never get. I talk a bunch about magic, okay. what about technology? Well, with technology, you get schematics that you can craft and manufacture if okay. you've got the scientific aptitude. And that's about it. You can make oh. anything from molotovs, dynamite, cocaine, flamethrowers, tranquilizer darts, to even mechanized arachnids. There's a lot of schematics to purchase and obtain, and the crafting system is a lot of fun. Unfortunately, some of the components oh, are extremely go. rare and only spawn about 10% of the time at inventor shops, making it very difficult to build an army of steam-powered robots. But Aww. if you somehow do Shame. figure it out, 
tell me, because they don't count to your party limit. So, they're potentially infinite. Oh. Key bindings can't be remapped, and there's a lot of them. So, please check the manual. Why did you come back? Keys. Just speaking of a manual, the Stop. Arcanum Game Manual is fantastic Stop. and probably one of the best I've ever read. The whole Almost thing is about 180 again. pages explaining you the lore, the setting, Damn. and the races of this world, and illustrating the dilemma between magic and technology. It's even got a fucking banana bread recipe in there. Stop. At the end, what? I tried it. It was pretty good. So oh. for once, please read the manual. It's great. My only word of warning, this Ow. game can't run on modern Stop. systems. So if you install the good old games copy, you'll have to run it using safe mode. Final score. Okay. Good out of very. Arcanum. <laughs> it's a great game. Very dated by modern standards, but the writing, the plot, and the dialogue keep it fresh. Buy okay. it. Play it. It's super cheap on sale, and you'll easily sink several dozen hours into it. And remember, a good gnome is a dead gnome. Also, I now have another channel. This is a backup channel. Just in case anything goes wrong, please subscribe. You won't regret it. Long story short, it is the opinion of a merchant's guild that my channel is the target of an anti-Semitic attack by extremists who hate Israel that are taking time to mass flag each video. I okay. know, it's annoying, but let's make the best of it. And as always, more content to come, so stay tuned. A warm thanks to the many members of a merchant's guild, generously funding and bankrolling rolling these videos you're all truly wonderful have a good one okay do i want to watch that no oh oops okay ow oh, that's loud all right that's actually it did remind me a lot of fallout just without it um I'm trying to think if, like, technology kind of thing wasn't first to fall out. No, yeah, you, yeah, you could craft stuff. What am I talking about? You could. So yeah, added magic. Well, of course, a different plot and the different world, a lot of different things. It's a different fucking game, different universe entirely. Just the mechanics wise. That's what that is. He was talking about real time, but I kind of saw what looked like turn based combat. Is there a choice? I don't know. I'm, I have a headache, and also the cat was annoying me during the video, so I wasn't. I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't 80% concentrating on it, to be honest. And that Virgil thing in the beginning fucked me up too. So, fuck this. Uh, thank you, anybody who watched this. I appreciate it a lot, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Before goodbye, please subscribe. Now, goodbye. Have a great life, because one of us says so.